Hi guys, this is Holiday Inflatable Fanatic, and today I have a really awesome uh, video for you guys. Uh, this is super unique inflatable, inflatable that I'm going to be reviewing for you today, and I can't wait to get right into this. So today I'm going to be reviewing this 8 foot inflatable, well Christmas inflatable, shaggy and snowman suit or whatever you want to call it. This is super super cool i can't believe i have this in my basement right now it's so crazy to see it and everything but before you know i progress on to the video i know you guys probably have a lot of questions as to you know how i got this you know where i got it you know and all these different type of questions so before i progress into the video let me just answer some of those questions i have a feeling you guys are gonna have so this is actually a custom me and Lucas, the huge Jemmy guy, worked on. Uh, we worked on this the last two to three weeks, I would say, and I just finished it up uh, last night. Uh, so pretty much how we made this is we used an old one. We used uh, a big lot snowman uh, inflatable that Lucas got cheap on Mercari. And Lucas, uh, he got all the fabric. He got the beige fabric we use for his face and he and his mom painted it and they gave it to me. And then once he shipped out everything to me, I took all the fabric he gave me and I just assembled it. So I made the hair, I stitched that together. I did the back of his head, so stitched that all that together. Stitched the hat on, did the scarf, and I did the white, yellow, uh, I don't know, dangly things to it, and stitch the head on. I believe there was something else. Oh yeah, it, the snowman had arms, so I just covered, stitched that up with white fabric. So as I pretty much said, Lucas pretty much, he got all the materials, he got them ready for me, he painted the face, so he did everything, and then I just assembled it. So we both had a really important, I guess, uh, uh, and a very important share in making this piece, you know, making this piece come to life, in other words. I'm, that probably sounds a little confusing, but I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. So, let me show you the box of the snowman that we used. So here it was, I mean, just a very generic looking snowman. As I said, I cut the arms off, the twigs or whatever. We used the same hat that was on that snowman. Uh, we got rid of the scarf and we added our own scarf to make it look more like Scooby-Doo. And yeah, so let's take a close-up of the inflatable. So here it is. Let's really look into the face because Lucas and his mom did an awesome job on the face. Love the expression and everything they used. Looks amazing. Even I love the little stubble on his chin that they added. Really makes it look like Shaggy. So I did the hair, which were just uh, two pieces of fabric that I made into points because Shaggy's hair is like very messy looking. And I just sew that onto the side, just like that. So it gives it some dimension. And uh, right now, the only thing that's inflating it is the cheap fan that was on that old snowman inflatable. Um, so they're not really inflating, but I took, I took an old base fan that I had, like an 04 one, and I put it on him, and he inflated so much better, and the hair and the brim of his hat like fully inflated, which is awesome. The hat is a very classic looking hat, which is perfect for this inflatable because that's what me and Lucas were going for. We wanted to look like this was some sort of, you know, classic design that was made, you know, around the, you know, 04, 03 era. Because that was when the original prototype of the Scooby and Shaggy was, I think, made or around that time. And then the scarf, as I said, it's just a green scarf and I added the yellow frilly things. I just took yellow fabric that I had, sewed it on to the back. 
and then I cut it into strips. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this inflatable is still not done. Lucas has a little bit more he wants to do uh, when I ship it back out to him. Uh, we're definitely not keeping the uh, chief fan in it. He's gonna take that out, put a base fan in it, and put C7s uh, all inside the inflatable, which is gonna make it look so much better because I personally hate how the LEDs look in it currently. Um, and he's gonna do one other thing to it, and this is actually a pretty major change, but I'm not gonna tell you guys that because I wanna leave it as a surprise, and you'll see it within his next Christmas display when he, you know, posts that next December or whatever. Uh, he's gonna make a, you know, add another addition to the inflatable, and I think it's gonna make it look 10 times better. And it's gonna make this piece really, um, just bring it all together. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this guy. It was truly a, a pleasure to work on him. I had a lot of fun doing it. Always wanted to make a custom inflatable like this, so I'm glad I was finally able to do it. Don't mind these Christmas lights. Once again, this was just on that snowman inflatable. Uh, Lucas is going to take all that out, the LEDs that the chief fan out when he gets it back. But as I said, that's pretty much everything. I mean, let me know if you guys have any questions because I feel like I forgot to say a couple of things. But uh, I mean, once again, as I said at the beginning of the video, it's just so crazy, you know, to have this in front of me to think that this is like one of the two Shaggy inflatables that really exist. And, you know, the only standalone Shaggy to know to exist. It's just crazy to think about. But yeah, that's going to be everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.